Trelech, on the Welsh side of the Wye Valley, was originally known as the City of the Stones. It dates back to prehistory and was a major medieval settlement, one of the largest in Wales, outshining Carmarthen, Newport and Swansea. The Roman road from Chepstow to Monmouth ran through it and it was a borough in the 13th and 14th centuries. Its decay began in 1291 as a result of a deer poaching incident when the Earl of Norfolk's men attacked it and slew many inhabitants. In 1349 it suffered badly from the Black Death and later attacks by Owen Glendower. In 1700 it was recorded as being reduced to a poor inconsiderable village. There were excavations in 2004 finding the much larger extent of the original town. The stones are known as the Harold Stones, three large pudding stone conglomerate monoliths in a field. They are traditionally connected with the Saxon King Harold, but they are in fact much older, and local legends tell of strange force fields which have knocked people off their feet. However, they are not the only ancient things in the village. There is also a Norman mot called the Terret Tump, which had a feeling of something older and less aggressive and had a mass of harebells growing on its summit. The church, 14th century origin, although Victorian restored, and St Anne's or Virtuous Well. The church, mound and stones are clearly in alignment on a map of the village and there is intervisibility between them. Inside the church is a remarkable sundial which has depictions of the stones, mound and well. The well is surrounded by a semicircular wall with stone seats and was famous for cures. It was said to be four separate springs, each of which cured different ailments. It was found to have many pieces of cloth and other items tied to the nearby tree. The church seems to be the lay centre in the village and its lays seem to go through quite a number of coincident road stretches as well as springs and wells. The one on the church mound stones alignment comes south through a closely mean following stretch of road at Ruxton Green, a crossroads at Lewstone, a cross track field boundary at Wysham, a, a, a track junction and coincident road to the south, a cross tracks and spring at Nodfa, Trelech Church, Terret Tump and the Harold Stones. It then goes through a coincident track at Finon Gare. Well Fort, a spring at Llan Inant, coincident road and multi junction at Devorden, a cross tracks near Shrier Newton, and a fort north of Carewent, and another cross tracks. Another lay goes through Itton Church, also 14th century, and at a meeting point of road and tracks, which seem to be another lay, major lay centre in the area. This goes through Trelech Church. Trelleth Cross, a crossroads with remains of a cross, another crossroads to the south, two springs and Itton Church. Trelleth Cross. The lays of the church and the virtuous well first goes through Little Mill Farm, which seems quite prominent on the map with four tracks and a road pointing at it, though they don't quite reach it now. It then goes through two crossroads tracks near Onan, a coincident track above Gracedure Abbey site, a spring near Coombe Carvan, a spring and crossroads near Trelech, Trelech Church, the Virtuous Well, two cross tracks, a very close mean following road for half a mile at Catbrook, a coincident road and spring to the south, a spot at Tintern Abbey by the riverside, not the church, though it crosses a lay from Itton here, which does go through the church. Another lay first goes through St John the Baptist's Well near Staunton, a crossroads, coincident road, church and another crossroads at Pentwyn, Trelech Church, a very close mean following B4293 for half a mile, then New Church Church, a track multi-junction at Codigwent, a crossroads tracks on a Roman road, a church at Minid Alafach, and a triangulation hilltop point. Another place that we visited, one of great sanctity stretching back to time immemorial, was the tiny church of Kilgurg, one of the oldest and remotest churches in Wales. 
Far from any road, the nearest motor vehicles can approach is the drive to Kilgur House. From here, a track northwards across the fields and across a stream leads to the little building, dating to some time between 730 and 780. But the circular stone-walled churchyard whispers of significance far earlier. It's positioned on a hill, surrounded by a curving valley and ringed with other hills. A stone by the gate has the appearance of a standing stone. And a strange human face looks out at the visitor from the west wall, where there is no window. The pre-Norman cross in the churchyard produces the dedication to the Holy Cross, although the building is not cruciform. There are two tracks leading to the churchyard, forming a T-shape. The southern one, used by most of the worshippers, leading to the gate, and a west-east one, which has a stone style and continues past the churchyard in the same alignment. Both have interesting lays running along them, and there is another to the major lay centre at Itton Church. The east-west track lay is one that has several stretches of coincident track. It's easy to imagine it as a prehistoric routeway. Coming eastward, it goes through an earthwork at Camp Farm, Langwin, then runs along the Kilgurg Church track and a separate coincident track to Kilgurg Common. It goes through a building marked on the map as the castle, then along a coincident track to a very prominent multi-junction at Chepstow Park Wood. Then it passes through another crossroads at the edge of the wood and yet another at Rogerstone Grange. It then crosses the Wye into England and runs along a coincident road in Old Bishton. The entrance track runs southwards through a spring north of Newcastle, a Motton Bailey at Newcastle, along a coincident track to Hlanagan and through a church at Church Farm, Hlangoran, and through a spring near a crossroads at Upper Mairdy. It then reaches Kilgwerk Church and is coincident with its south running track, going eventually to Kelkawent Church. The later Itton comes south eastwards through a track multi junction at Fairview Farm, then skirts the edge of Kurtigar Earthwork. Passing then through Kilgwerk Church, it continues to a clump at Glynn, a main multi junction at Itton Common, a spout in Orris Wood and a multi-junction at Pearl Merrick. There is a rock in the Severn estuary near the Severn Bridge with the lay significant name of Dodd Rock and a very good north running lay through it. It's strange that Alfred Watkins doesn't mention the rock as he mentions Lay Rock near Tintagel and this Welsh borderland was his local area. The line from the rock runs to a tumulus east of Sedbury. Then Tiddenham Church and a multi-junction and close parallel road at Bowspring. It then goes through three more multi-junctions at Tiddenham Chase, Oak Hill Wood and Hart Hill, where it meets the lay from Tinton to Itton. Then it passes along a long coincident road and a church and castle at St Briarvale's. St Briarvale's Church St Briarvale's Castle this is a very interesting lay complex. The next points are Lays Hill near Stowe and a multi-junction at Marion's Enclosure. It, it skirts Hollow Rock Fort as it passes through the narrow neck of the Wye at Simmons Yat, runs along a coincident road and the summit of Huntsham Hill and another multi-junction at Newhouse Farm. It is strange that it misses the Queen Stone, pictured and described in the old straight track, Though if this was originally part of a circle, it could have gone through that.